Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to recreate some of the effects that you see in Matrix. That includes the titles, the reigning code effect, some distortion effects, and some warping type effects. And it's really easy to do inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now there are a couple of ways you can create these effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. You can go into the Fusion page and use the inbuilt templates and plugins inside of DaVinci Resolve. Or you could go to Motion VFX and download a free plugin called Matrix. If you want to check out some of the other plugins that Motion VFX has, I created a video with some of the other plugins. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17 and let's start creating some Matrix inspired effects. So I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and I've just loaded in a few royalty free stock clips inside of my timeline. And before I start working on these clips, I actually want to show you the first technique that I want to show you. And that's just using the inbuilt plugins inside of DaVinci Resolve Fusion tab. So let's create a Fusion composition by going into our media pool, right click, and let's create a new Fusion composition. And I'm just going to leave it at default five seconds. I'm going to leave it at the frame rate of 25 frames just because that's what I usually use when I'm creating videos. So I'm going to click create and in our media pool we've got our fusion comp and let's just drag that in and then i'm just going to select the clip and make sure that my playhead is on our clip and go over to the fusion tab what we can do is we're just going to drag our media out to the side for a sec and i'm just going to go over to templates i'm going to go to the drop down menu and i'm going to go to the fusion and i'm going to go down to particles and I'm going to scroll all the way down to matrix and that's pretty much it. And I'm just going to click and drag and I'm just going to connect the matrix to the media out. And that's pretty much it. Once you scrub through, you can see that there is a raining code effect. Now you can go in there and, you know, adjust the density if you want to. Um, you can change the depth and all of that sort of stuff, but I'm just going to leave it at default just because I'm mainly not going to be using this technique. Let's just go back to the edit page and now we can see that we've got our raining code effect. Now that we're back in the edit tab, we've got a black background. Now by default, since we didn't create a background inside of Fusion, it's actually going to be transparent. So we can just drag that and we can just hover it over our clip and we can see that we've got the raining code on our clip. So that's how you create the raining code effect inside of DaVinci Resolve just using the built-in plugins. So now I'm going to show you how to use the third-party plugins from Motion VFX. And it's really easy to use, so I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the timeline and I'm just going to go over to Effects and I'm going to go over to Effects. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find matrix. So now we've got six matrix effects. So let's just go to this first clip and I'm going to put matrix effect one on. As you can see with this raining code effect, you can see that there's a bit of distortions on the video clip behind it as well as the raining code effect as well. So there's a bit of like a nice distortion. You can actually go into the effects and you can adjust some parameters as well. So yeah, I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to go to digit controls and you can adjust the digits. So you can adjust the rotation if you want to, if you want it coming off to the side. Um, I don't want that, I just want it to be default. And then you can adjust the digit speed as well. So you can increase it a little bit just so it can go a little bit faster if it's too slow for your liking. So I'm just going to zoom in for this one and I'm just going to increase the background digits opacity. So there are some digits in the background. If I bring it up, you can see it more clearer. Um, I'm just going to 
leave it at default. So let's go to displace controls and you can actually adjust if you want the displace on or off. So by default, it's already on checked for you. So I'm gonna uncheck that. And now you can see that we've got a nice straight uniform line of code coming down the screen. Then I'm gonna go down to glow controls and by default, you've got glow checked. So I'm gonna uncheck that. So as you can see, um, it's adding a glow to the brighter parts of the code. It doesn't do it to all of the code. Um, you can adjust your settings underneath with glow opacity. So you can make it more intense if you want to. And yeah, and then background controls, background colorization. So if I adjust that to zero, you can see that it hasn't created some sort of color grade to the clip. So the effect too is pretty much like the raining code effect, but it kind of finds the outlines of your clip. So we can actually go in here and we can adjust pretty much the same parameters as before, a little bit different. Um, so we can change the digits angle and digit speed, um, input correction controls. So if you wanna adjust the contrast, and again, you can animate this as well. So if you want it to be a bit more of a scanning sort of effect, you can do that as well. So you can actually just play around with these settings and just see which sort of settings you like that suits your clip or your taste, your style. If you just want the code to be on the face and you don't actually want it to be tinted that green color, you can actually just get rid of the colorization. So we've got this sort of like creepy stare into the camera lens. Actually for this clip, I actually might put Matrix Effect 5 on it just because I prefer this sort of look. So you can see that there's a bit of distortion when I add that effect on and also some ghosting as well. Let's just go to the effects and let's adjust the effect controls. You know, adjust it side to side, but um, I'm just gonna hit the reset on that. And then by default, you've got lens distort and camera shake. So there is a little bit of a camera shake to it. You've also got lens distort. So if I uncheck that, you can actually have a flat image. So I think for this one, I prefer it without the lens distort because I want to see, I want to see more of the frame. And then you've also got layers controls. I might change it to overlay just for this tutorial just so you can see it a little bit more on your screens. So I might just freeze it here for a sec. So you can adjust each layer. So there's three layers, I believe. So you've got layer one, two, and three, and you can adjust the opacity of those layers. So let's just adjust it. So you can really go in there and tweak the look of your effect. And I'm gonna show you this last effect just very quickly. So yeah, with this effect here, you've got a bit more of like a distortion sort of warping effect and it slowly transitions to like a camera shake. So we can go in here and we can adjust a few parameters. So you can adjust the effect size so you can get this distortion ring going around this other distortion that's going on. Um, shake controls, you don't have anything to adjust. You can just turn the shake on or off. I'm just gonna have the shake on just because it's like this nice extra layer to it. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything for the effects side of things. So now let's go over to the titles and we'll scroll down to our M matrix. So let's just, so let's just drag the matrix background in. So click and drag in, we've got this nice code rain effects, pretty much similar to the effects on our clips, but now we've just got a background. It's probably a much quicker way than doing it inside of Fusion anyway, just by clicking and dragging it into your timeline and you've got this already done for you. So you can actually adjust pretty much all the controls for the background. So we've got this sort of glitch lower third here, entering the system. I'm not gonna change the text on here, but you've got your text controls, so you can change your text to whatever you want it to be. I'm just gonna leave it at default. You can go in there and you can change the font, the sizing, line spacing, pretty much everything to do for text, you can adjust it there. You've got square controls as well, which is this little square here. You can adjust the square position. I'm just gonna leave it about there. You can adjust the square size. 
you can adjust the square blink speed. So if you want it to be blinking faster, you can adjust that as well. We've got digit controls, which I believe, let's just zoom in. You've got digits in the background of this text right here. So you can go in there and you can adjust the digits opacity. So if you want it to be a bit more subtle, you can do that as well. Digit scale, digit speed. So if you wanted to scan through the digits faster, you can adjust that as well. We've got glow controls, of course, glow opacity, glow spread, and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to leave it there just so I can quickly get through this video. And then we've also got another lower thirds. And these, oh, let's just zoom out. We've got our access status denied. So we've got this really nice text animation with the traditional looking matrix style fonts and animation. And that's all click and drag sort of stuff. So let's just look at this other one. And I'm not going to show you the adjustments for these titles just because you can go in there and you can play around with it yourself. So um, let's just have a look at this text. We've got this really nice animating text. So that's how you do the matrix style text inside of DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, it's super easy. It's pretty much just a drag and drop and you're just adjusting a few parameters. It's super quick and easy. Um, so one more thing that I wanna show you for the matrix inspired video. Um, I just wanna go and show you some video transitions. So I'm just gonna quickly get rid of the effects that we've added to these clips. Get rid of it for these two. I'm just gonna use these last two clips here. And you can see that we've got some matrix transitions. So I'm going to hover over it. So let's just hover over these transitions for a second. So as you can see, we've got this really nice matrix code distortion warping into the other clip. Um, we've got this nice zoom transition with the matrix code and the coloring as well. You've got some really nice varieties with these transitions. We've also got this really nice warping transition right here and we can go into that transition and we can make some further adjustments as well. So I'm just going to go to transition controls. You can adjust the timing as well if you want to. You can adjust the display strength so you can make it more intense if you want to. You can change the display speed so if you want it to be even crazier you can do that as well. You got displace detail, which is pretty much like the noise of the displacement. So you can really adjust that as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it around there. And then you've got the displace contrast, which is also like another way to change the detail as well. And now we've got this really cool distortion transition. That's pretty much just a drag and drop transition. So that's how you create matrix inspired visual effects, titles, transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. As you can see, it's incredibly simple and easy to do, especially with Motion VFX's plugin. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.